All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the uh, Freedom Office. Hey, before we get started, let's talk about the uh, hashtag significant discount week. Uh, get on over there to the guys with uh, Optics Planet, and uh, they got some really good sales. Check it out. This is a uh, six hour. This is their Marksman 223 77 grain open tip match. I've had really damn good luck with this stuff. I couldn't find a video that I did a while back, but I was about a half MOA with a gas gun with it. All right, so what are we talking about? Let's start off by saying Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is like my second home. I have been working in Pennsylvania since 2011 and uh, it's a great state as far as I'm concerned. I love Pennsylvania, in other words. One of the things I can't stand is that you have Philadelphia and Pittsburgh with a huge population and they have a huge count in the, whatever the rest of the state is doing. So in other words, whatever these guys want, the rest of the state have to deal with, and it's absolutely ridiculous. So this comes to us by the way of Channel A, WGAL. All right, so this is Pennsylvania House approves two or four gun control bills. And I've seen this big old picture, Mom's the Man Axe is now at this. Yay! And I agree with them, man. You know what? Nobody likes to see a, uh, a young one... Uh, killed by the way of a gun, uh, either by accident, suicide, or anything else. And I think that if we could just figure out how to stop the mental uh, illness or the mental, mental, mental part of this whole thing from happening, too many children are going into the world these days. And I think the, uh, the bad, in my, my opinion, one of the worst parts about this whole deal is multimedia, or what do you call the uh, media? What are we looking? YouTube, where kids can abuse one another uh, behind a keyboard. Back in my day, you went to the uh, you went to the bathroom, you knocked, you you fought it out, and that was it. You usually ended up as best friends. But these days, people can be absolutely cruel when they don't have to answer to it face to face. All right, so let's talk about this. Harrisburg, PA, the Pennsylvania House voted Monday on a package of gun control bills, the first such measure in years to be considered considered by the full chamber. Democrats can only get two of the four proposals passed. Gosh, hate it for those guys, right? Uh, it's amazing how the media will, will will side with one or the other. They just can't go with this thing uh, from a, uh, uh, an unbiased position, right? Lawmakers voted in favor of requiring background checks for private sale of gun, long guns. Hmm. Representatives also approved the measure allowing judges to use emergency orders to have law enforcement temporarily seize, seize, confiscate, take away, whatever you wanted to talk about it, remove firearms from uh, someone in crisis. Now, what I'd like for them to do is define what this means in crisis. You get in an argument with your girlfriend or your wife or somebody and they make a phone call. Does anybody come and talk to the person to make sure, hey, maybe we should make sure that this person is not suicidal or make sure that this person is actually not a danger? Not going off the word of someone else or the family. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Okay, uh, just I know this is a weird situation. People have weird thoughts about this whole thing. I'm not weighing in either one. I'm just saying what uh, these guys are doing. Representatives also, okay, uh, Representative Jennifer O'Mara, Democrat, 165, and a chief sponsor of the Mercy Risk Protection Order Bill said passing the legislation was an important to her because her father died by suicide with a gun when she was 13. I very imagine that was very traumatic. We know that in 19 states where it has passed, it has been proven to lower suicide rates. O'Mara and a group that rallied outside the ca state capitol ahead of the vote said the bill could also prevent mass shootings or other cr gun crimes. Well, what was interesting to me is that most of these people who have issues, uh, it's well recognized. And there are many people who know about it, but they don't report it. Like the trans gender thing or whatever it was she wasn't supposed to have a firearm yet people knew it they didn't do anything about it a lot of people say it's none of my business uh they're also backing a bill to require the reporting of lost or stolen firearms which failed in a vote of 100 to 101 uh so let me just me personally if i if i lose a firearm i'm gonna i'm gonna need some insurance money so i'm probably gonna report that okay especially if it's one of these bad boys back here uh and i don't want somebody taking one of my guns and uh using it in a in a bad situation that's one of the, my personal thoughts. Do I think it should be a requirement by law? 
No, I don't. Because if you don't report it, well, you're first of all, you're just a dumbass in my opinion. But second of all, you shouldn't be forced to do anything or nor you should you be turned into a felon because you didn't do it. OK, um, legislation that would require gun owners to secure and disable firearms when not on the person or in use didn't go up for a vote. Yeah. The last thing a hunter or a sportsman wants to do is be in an environment where it's unsafe. No shit, Sherlock. They teach us safety on the range and in the woods and in the field. This is no more than securing your weapons or your firearms. Gary Pareko of Colonial Park. Kind of sounds like somebody over in Pittsburgh. Here's my thing. Uh, if I have my doors, they're locked, then they are secured. To what degree are we supposed to say guns are secured? Are they supposed to be, uh, I don't know, trigger lock, bolted, chained in, unloaded, in a gun safe, buried in concrete? And, and to what degree do they say secure? Republicans argued the bills run afoul of the U.S. and Pennsylvania constitutions and won't necessarily prevent gun violence carried out by those individuals or involved in a criminal activity. For the most part, criminals don't care what the gun laws are. They're going to do what they want to do. Whether it be background checks, whether it be whatever, red flag, the reality is we are coming after the folks who abide by the law. Exactly. Our law-abiding citizen gun owners. Okay. Uh, Rob Kaufman, representative, Republican, 89, said. Let's see if we got anything further. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, guys, ladies and gentlemen, here's the big thing. And I wish somebody would say this. Uh, explain to the Democrats, not everyone who owns a firearm is a potential murderer. Please. Come on, man. We're not evil people, especially people who follow and go by the law. It's already illegal to kill someone, correct? Without that being said, psh, I don't know what else to say. But certain laws will circumvent and they will make sure that law-abiding citizens are unarmed and unable to protect themselves against the people who could care less about laws. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. These are unconstitutional as hell. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless this man and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. And uh, that's it, man. And the infamous words of a real Cobra burnout. Boom. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.